Okay, before we are going to our topic today, I am Jack Brown to impress our spirit before we are learning mathematics. Repeat after me, okay? Be smart with math. Okay, once more. Be smart with math. Okay, let's read together. One, two, three. Be smart with math. Keep a close for us. The material we will discuss this time is the material of 10th grade of senior high school. I think you have known and learned about the system of two variables in 8th grade of junior high school. Basically, this material is not too different from what we will discuss now. The difference is only the number of linear equation. Do you want to know the explanation further? Okay, don't go anywhere. Keep on watching. Three variable linear equation system is an extension of the two variable linear equation system, which is in a linear equation system, three variables consist of three equations. Each equation has three variables y, x, and z, or a, b, and c. Therefore, the general formula of three variables linear equation system in x, y, and z can be written like this. ax plus bx plus cz equals to d, ex plus fy plus gz equals to h, ix plus jy plus kz equals to l. Or, we can write a1x plus B1y plus C1z equals to D1. A2x plus B2y plus C2z equals to D2. A3x plus B3y plus C3z equals to D3. An equation is called a three-variable linear equation system if the equation has the following characteristic. The characteristic are 1. Use a relation sign equals 2. 2. Has three variables. 3. All the variables have a degree. Matters relating to three variable linear equation system contains four components or elements that are always related to a three variable linear equation system. The four components are term, variable, coefficient, and constant. The following is an explanation of each of three variable linear equation system components. A term is a part of an algebraic form consisting of variables, coefficients, and constants. Each term is separated using addition or subtraction punctuation. Two variable. One term. Variables are variables or substitutes for a number that are, that, that are generally denoted by the use of letters such as X, Y, and Z, or A, B, and C. 3. Coefficient Coefficient is a number that states the number of a number of similar variables. Coefficients are also called numbers that are in front of the variables because the writing of a coefficient equation is in front of the variables. 4. Constant A constant is a number that is not followed by a variable, so it will have a constant or constant value for any variable or variable value. Actually, there are five ways to solve the problem of three variable linear equation system. But in this video, I just tell you about um, three ways. 
the first step, the first method is substitution method, the second method is elimination method, and the third method, cut off method. Okay, let's go to the method. Okay, the first method is substitution method. The following are steps used to complete TVLES with the substitution method, including stage 1, choose one of the simplest equation, then declare x as function y and z, or y as the function x and z, or z as a function y and x. Stage 2. Substitute the x or y or z that we get in the first step into the other two equation. So we will get a two variable linear equation system. Third stage, complete the existing of three variable linear equation system in step number two. Okay, next to the second method. The second method is elimination method. <laughs> the following are the steps used to complete a uh, three variable linear equation system with the elimination method, including stage, first stage, choose the simple form of variable or variable. Second stage, remove or delete one variable for example x so we will get two variable linear equation system third stage remove or delete one of the two variable linear equation system so that we will get one of the variables first fourth stage eliminate or eliminate other variable example z to get the second variable value Fifth stage, determine the top value, example x, based on the value y and z obtained. Again, the third method is mixed both of the method of substitu substitution method and elimination method. First, we can use the substitution method in top and we use uh, the elimination method in the bottom. Or we can use the elimination first and then in the bottom we use the substitution method. Okay, let's go to the example. Okay, for the solution, the first step is to determine in advance the simplest equation. Of the three equations, the first equation is the simplest. From the first equation, declare the variables x as y and z function as follows. Substitute the variables x into the second equation. Substitute the variable x into the third equation. Then we get two equations from T, V, L, E, S, Y, and Z. Then, complete the two variable linear equation system above using the substitution method. Choose one of the simplest equations. In this case, the second equation is the simplest equation. From the second equation, we get Substitute the y variable in the first equation. Substitute the value of z equals to 7 into the second equation of the two variable linear equation system. So we will get. Then substitute the value of y equals to 3 and z equals to 7 to 1 of DVLES. Therefore, we get x equals to 5, y equals to 3, and z equals to 7, so that the settlement set of TVLES equation is 
5, 3, and 7. Of the three variable linear equation system above, we can get the simplest variable x. So we will get. So we will eliminate x first. After the coefficient x of the three equation has been the same, then subtract or add the first equation with the second equation and the second equation with the third equation in such a way that the variable x disappears. From the second and the third, therefore, we get DVLEX like this. The next step is to complete the two variable linear equation system above by using the elimination method. The first step is to determine the value of y by eliminating z. After that, we add these two equations. Second, we look for the value of z by eliminating y. Until this step, we have obtained the value of y equals to 1 and z equals to 3. The last step, to obtain the value of x, we substitute the value of y and z into the one of TVLES. Therefore, we get the value of x equals to 7, y equals to 1, and z equals to 3 so that the settlement set from TVLES above okay we will gonna try this test to my student using discovery learning method so they will looking for a solve for, from the problem that I give there are two numbers of this problem I hope they can do it well by the way my class is a private class so there are only two students in this class even so uh, I hope I get a maximum result. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I have give an equation on your paper. Are you ready? Ready, ready. Okay, write down please the answer on your paper. I give you all three minutes to answer one question. And sorry, I'm sorry for all my mistakes. I hope it will be useful for our topic to learn mathematics in our class. So, always fighting, always spirit, study to study learn. <laughs> okay.
Okay, for the last, let's start going together. Be smart with math. Goodbye. Thank you. See you in next video.